Hi everybody, let's talk about rugs today, how to cast them uh, properly without getting so many bubbles on it because bubble is really trouble and even if you are going to resin at the back it doesn't work uh, properly because the resin the bubble will also cause the resin bubble this are the method that I pour it when I pour it uh, let me zoom it for you it give the tiny holes that I'd rather use the word unattractive rather than ugly see if we sandpaper it uh, it will become another more tiny bubbles here and I have tried and yeah they are so so these are the 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 rocks that I pour because when we pour it it looks okay but however we cannot control this side we really can't because the 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 the, the gypsum and the air inside they keep uh, bubbling I don't know why uh, and these are uh, rocks that I put a uh, spoon by spoon they are quite okay I haven't sandpaper it yet there's still one or two tiny bubbles there like what you can see but they are so tiny it's it will be covered with the paint so I think it's pretty pretty good that is why I this one almost nothing no bubble no trouble so when I sandpaper it it will become like this like this bubble it will become covered with paint and it's okay and this one also I use it with a uh, spoon by spoon uh, not pouring it uh, give you more smoother in both side I'm, I'm sure there's um, some video out there teaching you how to cast properly and they are all good I'm not trying to influence you to follow my technique or whatsoever they are both uh, great I just want to share what I do uh, these are my finished rocks see if I zoom it you can see the I don't know if you can see the bubble it this is not not really deep bubble so uh, this is I think it's pretty good for this kind of rock and this is the back of my rocks are just because uh, the back is not visible or not to be seen we have we will make it that excuse to stay unattractive so I really love how it turned out without bubble or anything and this one too uh, it's really very very nice and smooth so uh, I think we already know pretty much to expect which one do you prefer this one spoon by spoon and this one is with a pouring I get this beautiful mold reliable mold from happy dotting company for a little over a year now and they're still very very good condition uh, I love this very much this is the love of my life I, I love this size and many of my customers love this size too however I also get this beautiful mold for candle tea mold which uh, actually I turn into this size of rock I just cover this in the, with the gypsum and then I just scrap it with the with the what you call that uh, sandpaper and this is another size of rocks 
So let's begin. Let uh, I will let you show uh, how I do it spoon by spoon. What I'm talking about. It's ridiculously easy. You will love it. Let's do it. I'm going to mark this letter A. So for us, easy to follow. And this one is B. So this one, the way that I really recommend, I'm using the unused spoon. I don't use this for eats. Just select the the place that there is no bubble and drop it like that. The bubble is very annoying because when I scrap it with the sandpaper, sometimes inside the stone there are bubbles too. So just some, something like this, you just have to avoid. Make it some air, see? They are popping out sometimes we cannot control. In this method, however, you can control it like what you see inside. There, there are no bubbles. It's very easy. And just keep shaking it. You, you can uh, control. And after this, we are going to use the pouring method. See, see that do you see the bubble there? You can just simply pop it like that to make them disappear. So we can however control it. And put some more. Just shake it. The, the shaking thing is the purpose just in case we will see the bubble here in this area just like that see like uh, i want to zoom it for you see the bubble is there it's not very attractive if you are the customer and you are paying uh, some of money of course you will not expect anything less so this one a wrong doing i have to scrub it because it's hard for me to sandpaper them when they are too overflow now this one is pretty good and i just have to pop the bubble just like that See the bubble keep appearing that is why it's very important for us to pay attention to it so this is the a with the spoon method and we're going to use a pouring method in a while now i'm going to do the pouring method shake it too Yeah, now we have it. I think now they are dry enough to be loved. Let's find out. This one with uh, spoon by spoon. Let's check it out. And this one by a pouring.
okay let's talk about this one first let's check with this one i zoom it for you okay we still have a bubble here but not too deep it will be disappear when i sandpaper it in this surface no no bubble at all it's very smooth uh, very clear of course here too no bubble uh, one tiny bit no it's not bubble it's not bubble and this one oh my god look look at this oh god now this is what i'm talking about when i pour it look uh there are so many potential bubbles here and this is when i scrub it like this with the sandpaper see can you see that and here too we don't want that here it's okay but to me I prefer here it's okay to be because here like what you see I scrub the same thing there's nothing so this one is spoon by spoon and this one is pouring look at the back my video come on come on come on please yeah see look at the back and this one is very clean this is normal this is not too deep not too deep I think yeah I can see it see nothing well I see here when I scrub like this more be visible so it's just it, it just <laughs> i cannot talk it's your choice i love you uh, i love you all bye